Hello, uh, today I will demonstrate you about the dorsal digital expansion. This dorsal digital expansions are nothing but these are the modifications of the deep fascia or we can call this as a triangular aponeurosis through which the extensor tendons are inserted onto the phalanges. Okay? And uh, I will demonstrate you uh, how this dorsal digital expansion is formed and how its mode of insertion is made uh, and what uh, muscles are inserted into these dorsal digital expansions on the cadaver. Uh, so the uh, dorsal digital expansions uh, that is a triangular eponotic sheath which you see these extensor tendons are inserted onto them and via they are inserted onto the phalanges. So these are the tendons of the extensor digitorum and this is the extensor digiti minime. Now if you see these tendons as they are moving uh, towards the dorsal surface of the metacarpals and the uh, uh, proximal phalanges, they form a triangular expansion. So I will demonstrate on one finger, this is the middle finger, so this tendon. So this tendon on moving to the metacarpal heads and the proximal phalanx, it forms a triangular fold or a triangular sheet which is called as a dorsal digital expansion. Now this is a dorsal digital expansion. Now this is triangle so that it, it will have a base and it will have a apex. So the base of this expansion is like hood. Can you see this? Sir? This is a hood like structure. So the base is broad and it is like a hood which covers the metacarpal head and you know this hood will help to retain the extensor tendons in the uh, midline of the digit. And when move on to the apex, I am showing here this is the apex. Moving on to the apex. Uh, close to the distal end of the proximal phalanx, this one. Uh, yeah. So now here, uh, the apex close to the, uh, what do you call, the distal phalanx of, uh, distal end of the proximal phalanx, it is trifurcating. So it is trifurcates into a median, this is a median band and these two are the lateral bands. The medial band is inserted into the base of the middle phalanx whereas the lateral bands, these two lateral bands will extend further distally and unite and get inserted onto the base of the distal phalanx. So this is uh, all about the dorsal digital expansion and if you see the margins of this dorsal distal expansions they are thick okay, on the lateral side, they are thick on the lateral side. Uh, because of it gives the insertion for the tendons of the lumbricals and the introche muscles. Okay? Then the dorsal distal expansions are described as the wing tendons. Uh, these wing tendons because uh, these wings are contributed by the tendons of the lumbricals and uh, the tendons of the introche muscles. So I will make you demonstrate one uh, muscle which is inserted onto this lateral lateral margin, this is lateral margin of this hood. So this is the hood of the dorsal distal expansion, this muscle. So this is the lumbrical muscle, this is one lumbrical muscle you can see very clearly. It is inserted onto this lateral margin of the dorsal distal expansion. So lateral margins of the dorsal distal expansion are thickened uh, because of this insertion of these tendons. Okay? So this is all about the dorsal digital expansion. Okay? So this is, yeah, thank you.